a brief review of a business called edu birdie today but first i want to show my social media for my business which is killer papers on instagram you can check me out there shoot me a dm anytime you want to personally chat about something you might want to work on i've been at this since 2016 and you can see reviews on my story highlights here and here that go back hundreds of weeks um, today i wanted to review edu birdie point out a few things that I thought were good and uh, some things that were also very alarming. So first off, they've got a very nice looking website. It's very simple, it gets right to the point, and I give them credit for that. I think my website could be better in that regard. Um, but one thing that I am a little bit alarmed by is their writers. So let's, before we dive into who their writers are, they're saying their prices start at $13.99 uh, per page. So of course that seems like a much better deal than what you might pay um, with more expensive websites and especially whenever you see all these good reviews and stuff but whenever you click on the writers tab here it gets weird pretty quickly so this one really stood out to me she supposedly has done 1500 projects going by Katerin John Dr. Katerin John. No space here, no space here. And when you look down in her bio, it's Dr. Space Catherine with an H. There's no H there. John. So are we supposed to believe she's actually a doctor? And why wouldn't they have an H there but here? It's almost like this person is not actually uh, existing. That's my theory. You know, they can say verified. You don't know, like, Who's to say they're actually verified? You just have to believe that EDU Birdie is verifying them. There's no way to actually know if they're verified, and that's that person. But I want you guys to know that you can go to all kind of different websites and create pictures of people in seconds. Just say what you want them to look like, gender, age, ethnicity, and create. And I'll show you guys real quick. Female, let's just say 35 to 40, white, refresh image. You could just create people. And if we refresh it again, there's another one. So, like, that's, I'm not saying that's what they're doing, but that could be because if you also dig in a little further and you go on Google and you type in EDU Birdie Kenya LinkedIn, you can see a lot of people from Kenya, which is a very common place where these writers get, or these services source their writers because it's so cheap. Uh, Kenya, 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 E.D. Birdie, E.D. Birdie, uh, E.D. Birdie, E.D. Birdie. So clearly, in my view, those that are actually working for E.D. Birdie are probably not these uh, American or European looking people in the pictures. It's probably Kenyan writers. So just be aware of that. Uh, that's probably how the prices are very low. Um, aside from that, I mean, EDU Birdie has a very long-lasting reputation. Uh, you know, if you buy from them, um, you're not going to get ripped off, but you definitely will not get something super high quality, at least not the quality that you would come to expect from someone who's graduated from a USA or Canadian college. Um, so hopefully this review helps. I just wanted to kind of uh, talk about that because it was a bit unsettling to me. Uh, if you want to work with uh, me or have me review another service, shoot me a DM on Instagram. We can chat about anything you'd like. I'll always personally answer, and I hope this review helps. Good luck, guys.